Pickup trucks are often used for work duties and as family vehicles for household chores, so affordability and low maintenance costs are among the major deciding factors when making a buying decision. In this episode, we continue our mission of delivering informative lineup reviews about the market's cheapest offerings. And specifically today, we'll tackle American and international pickup models with the lowest prices. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell to make sure that you won't miss the upcoming videos. Enjoy the ride! Ford Maverick Ford's first attempt at a unibody pickup failed miserably back in 1960s, when the F100 with the integrated bed was discontinued after just two years. The non-conformist Maverick, on the other hand, arrives during a new era, when technology allows to reach the truck-level monocoque rigidity. Built over the crossover Bronco Sport platform, the Maverick weighs 3,500 pounds and barely reaches 200 inches in length. It has a 4.5 feet long bed, trademarked as the flex bed, which offers multiple tie-down points, convenient D-rings for securing cargo, and special pockets to create custom dividers. The truck is offered in three trim levels and two powertrain choices. A 2.5-liter full hybrid with 191 horses, CVT and a front-wheel drive, or an optional 250-horsepower 2-liter Echo Boost with an 8-speed automatic and available all-wheel drive. Even the base model features LED lighting, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and an 8-inch infotainment with both Apple and Android compatibility. Nissan Frontier The previous generation Frontier, AK Navara, was considered ancient 10 years ago, but somehow the model kept trudging along, making just enough sales to avoid axing. Its new third generation, on the other hand, was developed with the North American buyer in mind and is expected to mend the reputation of the model. The 2022 Nissan Frontier boasts a bold front fascia with a tall black painted grille, raised vertical fenders, prominent hood, and a modern split headlight design. The pickup gets a standard naturally aspirated 3.8 liter V6 that makes 310 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque, and comes paired with a 9 speed automatic transmission. Regardless of the trim level, expect standard 8 inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration and Nissan's zero gravity seats. Serious off road fans should opt for the higher Pro 4X version that adds Bilstein off road chucks, electronic locking differential, and underbody skid plates. Isuzu D Max The current generation D Max was introduced back in 2019, and it has already made its way to many international markets, including the UK and Australia. The model is closely related to the MUX SUV, and starting from 2020, it also lends its underpinnings to the Mazda BT50 truck. The D-MAX is distinguished by a pair of U-shaped LED headlights, an aggressive grille, and modern-looking body panels. The truck offers single, extended, and crew cab options, either with 4x2 or 4x4 drive. Depending on the market, the standard engines are a 1.9 or a 3.0-liter turbo diesels that make 164 or 190 horses, respectively. The smaller mill is rated for 265 pound-feet of torque, while the larger one peaks at 331 and ensures 7,700 pounds of towing capacity. The latter model also gets an all-new 7-inch infotainment, full smartphone connectivity, and a digital speed display. Smash the like button if you want to see more episodes about the cheapest cars in different classes. Thanks in advance for your feedback, and let's meet in the comments section. We shall proceed now. Hyundai Santa Cruz after six long years of anticipation, Hyundai finally launches its first pickup truck that has unibody construction and shares underpinnings with the new Tucson. The sport adventure vehicle measures just 195.7 inches long, with 48.4 inches dedicated to the bed. The front face of the Santa Cruz borrows a lot from the already mentioned Tucson, but besides the open bed profile, this model distinguishes itself with unique armor-like wheel arches and multifaceted, triangular design wheels. The base versions of the truck come powered by a 2.5-liter direct-injected four-cylinder with 190 horsepower, 180 pound-feet, 8-speed automatic gearbox, and available all-wheel drive. 
Additionally, you can opt for a more competent 2.5 liter turbo with 275 HP and 310 pound feet. Santa Cruz's interior is restrained for practicality, but still offers an 8 or a 10.25 inch infotainment, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, plus plenty of standard safety assists. Toyota Hilux While Tacoma absolutely dominates the small truck segment on the North American market, the rest of the world gets to enjoy the Hilux, its mechanically similar sibling. Through the years, this Toyota has gained the reputation of invincibility, but after the latest facelift, its credentials also include a more advanced technological package and a handsome front. There is a new selection of bolt and powerful grills, LED lights could be optioned to decorate both front and rear, plus there are new machine finish alloys. The truck's performance is improved with a new 201 horsepower 2.8 liter and line 4 cylinder turbo diesel, generating 369 pound feet of torque. Though the less potent 4 cylinders, 2.4 liter turbo diesel and 2.7 liter turbo gasoline, are still an offer. Lastly, the indestructible machine gets new interior finishings, updated 8 inch infotainments with Android and Apple connectivity, and improved safety systems. Chevrolet Colorado For those fans of GM trucks who are shopping in the affordable segment, we decided to feature the recently refreshed Chevy Colorado. Its lineup includes three body styles and four trims, from the entry-level WT to the off-road Trad ECR2. All models get new lower fascias, redesigned grills, new skid plates, and fresh 17-inch wheels. The powertrain selection remains unchanged. The base 2.5-liter four-cylinder makes 200 horses, comes paired to the 6-speed automatic and offers either front or all-wheel drive. A 3.6-liter V6 and a 2.8-liter turbo diesel remain available, though with them, the price of the Chevy easily exceeds the 30k threshold. As standard, the truck gets a competent 7-inch infotainment with Bluetooth audio streaming and smartphone compatibility, but unfortunately, it still lacks in terms of included and available driver assists. Fiat Toro Most likely you haven't heard about it, but Fiat actually has a pickup truck in its range since 2016. This year, the Latin American model gets a comprehensive refresh, both under the hood and inside the cabin. The exterior tweaks are also noticeable, as the 2022 Toro boasts a new front fascia with a RAM-inspired grille, modern ladder logo, sharper headlights, and standard LED DRLs. The most affordable Toro Endurance now comes equipped with a 1.3-liter turbo four-cylinder designed to burn both petrol and ethanol, and it turns out 185 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. The 2.0-liter turbo diesel four-cylinder remains in the stables as well, and it can be ordered with the optional all-wheel drive. Right from the entry-level trim, the Toro offers a digital 7-inch instrument cluster and a 7-inch multimedia screen. As for the middle and top models, they flaunt 8.4 and 10.1 inches portrait-style touchscreens, compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Mitsubishi L200 Triton Somehow, Mitsubishi Motors still sell the Mirage car in the US. But stubbornly, they refuse to bring to this land of pickups their compact truck offering. The L200, also known as Triton Sport and Triton Athlete, was one of the first Mitsus to acquire the latest front fascia design and two-level front LED headlights. The model is equipped with a proven selection of turbocharged diesel engines with common rail direct injection. Market-specific displacements can include 2.2, 2.4 and 2.5 liters. Mitsubishi L200's Go Anywhere capability is ensured by the easy or super select four-wheel drive system and a switchable rear differential lock. In 2021, this workhorse can be optioned with a 7-inch Apple and Android infotainment, 8-way power adjustable driver's seat, multi-round monitor, and a full set of safety items. Ford Ranger A fully loaded Ranger can easily reach a 50k mark but most customers can get away with the entry-level version of the truck that costs almost two times less. 
Like the rest of the North American range, the model offers 8.4 inches of ground clearance and packs a turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder. The engine is hooked with a smooth 10-speed automatic gearbox responsible for sending 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque to the rear or all four wheels. Inside the cabin, the base Ranger comes with a small single-color driver's display, a USB port and a Wi-Fi hotspot that can connect up to 10 devices. It also gets manual AC and four-speaker audio with Bluetooth. The mid-level XLT trim unlocks an 8-inch touchscreen with smartphone integration and adds dual-zone automatic climate control, cruise control and parking sensors. Sangyong Muso Offered in two sizes, the South Korean pickup tries to put up a good fight in the segment with revised exterior design, decent utility skills and unmatched 7 years and limited warranty. Up front, your attention will be instantly drawn to the new grille, clad in chrome and updated headlights with integrated LED DRLs. Depending on the market, Sanyong offers two engine options for the truck. A 2.2-liter diesel that makes 180 horses and up to 310 pound-feet and a 2-liter gasoline that is good for 225 HP and 258 pound-feet. Both can be had with a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic from Ison. There are several interior design options, upholstered and woven fabric, TPU leather or genuine leather. Standard tech features are not scarce, so you'll be getting a 7-inch driver's cluster, 8-inch infotainment, smartphone compatibility and parking sensors front and rear. Toyota Tacoma Tacoma's solid reliability rating, great resale value and handsome looks continuously earned the title of America's best-selling mid-size pickup. Manufactured in Mexico and the US, the model gets extreme levels, starting with the SR and going up to the off-road-focused TRD Pro. The former gets an access cab, fiber-reinforced sheet-molded composite 6-foot bed and a 159-horsepower 2.7-liter four-cylinder with rear-wheel drive and a 6-speed automatic. The crew cab is a 3 grand premium, but if you would like a 3.5-liter V6 with 278 ponies and a limited slip differential, the overpayment would increase to 6,000. The base package gets you 16-inch wheels, Apple and Android connectivity, fabric-trimmed seats, 7-inch touch display and safety sense. By the way, in 2022 lifted Toyota Tacomas, TRD Pro and Trail Edition sit up to 1.5 inches taller, get wild body colors and exclusive bronze 16-inch wheels. Bear in mind that availability and prices for these pickups strongly depend on the market where you're shopping. Nevertheless, we hope you search for the most affordable models or simplify it with this buying guide. Return us the favor by liking this video and subscribing to Automotive Territory channel. May the torque be with you!